Another test that is typically done is called the hysterosalpingogram. Uh, for short, it's HSG. I need to say that the HSG has a very bad reputation uh, for those uh, women that look online that it's a very painful, that it has a lot of uh, uh, risks, and so on and so forth. And typically, from our experience, the hysterosalpingogram is a little bit uncomfortable because basically it entails to inject some dye through the cervix and then take some x-ray pictures. Uh, but the discomfort is really mild. Uh, it's temporary. It goes away as soon as you finish the test. And it gives you a lot of information. It gives you information on the uh, anatomy of the uterus, if there are any filling defects in the uterine cavity, such as fibroids or polyps that would prevent implantation, if there is any scarring from previous um, uh, miscarriages or, or interventions in the uterus that may cause scars that will prevent implantation as well. And it will give you a very good idea on how the tubes are. Are they open? Are they blocked? Is there a collection of fluid called a hydrosalpings? So it is a, an important test uh, to do. It, it's, uh, uh, it's important to, to, notice, to note that this test is typically done before ovulation because basically you don't want to be uh, uh, doing a test where you have to uh, shoot dye um, through the tubes after ovulation when there is a, a possibility of pregnancy. So your doctor will schedule it accordingly.